All right, we are back for another OTP video. The next episode coming from the rest of April. So hopping in here, back where we were at before. Just trying to finish up this month. You know, coming off getting uh, pounded by Texas. We'll even do anything else. Let's go ahead and look at the prospects here. Top 100, don't have any. Bad life. Let's look at some of these guys here. So first we'll take a look at a uh, superstar, Gavin Lux. Kinda hoping that Cleveland if they trade that door to trade it for him, but hey, here we are. Look at that. Contact maxed out at 80. High is at seven. Oh, dude is a beast. He is gonna develop to be a really good player already. You can see he's being productive. Practically a shoe for rookie of the year. Let's go look at some other guys here. Kenzie Gore. Prize pitcher for the Padres in their farm. Got a nice slider. Rating of 75. Already off to a really good start. It's only 21. He's only going to get better. You can see potential. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a beast. But um, you guys do know uh, this guy here is a Cardinals fan. Shall we? Look at carbs replacement. Look at that power. 70 power, I have 70. Would like to see him not strike out as much with that, but hey, take what you can get. And obviously, uh, the pitcher. We know about that trade. Not bad. I think he'll be a solid player. Doesn't grade that well in this game. But we know he does. Look at some others later. But let's look at uh, Mr. Carlson. 65i. Contact is 60. It's only 21. He's going to get better. Stealing is high. Pretty solid range. Looking at ours, uh, you can see there, we don't have a whole lot. Hence our farm system being bad, this is our best guy here, Mr. Ryan, um, got an I-55, it's not too bad. Speed and ceiling is good. Got Mike there at first base, power and I are pretty solid. Not, you know, Super, super thrilled, but good enough. Happy with it. We just don't have the great bullpen, that, or great, sorry, great farm at all. You can see our top 11 of our prospects are top 450. Oof. No one in the top 100. It stands down with the draft. Be nice. Not the worst thing in the world. I don't know why I keep thinking the draft is in May. It's in June. So we still have a long ways to go. I keep, like, mentally keep telling myself, hey, draft's coming in May. Tigers. <laughs> but hopefully we can start to pull, pull the farm system. We'll look into scouting more as uh, we go forward, as we get closer. But there are some guys, unfortunately, looking at the overall potential, this doesn't look like a really sexy draft class. Only one guy grades as 30 star potential. 20 year old first baseman Spencer Torkelson. I'm trying to remember. Story Arenado. Nickname Torque, I like that. Look at that potential. Home run power potential of 70. It's the same with the eye in this And that's disgusting. Especially in cores. So you can see our scout actually grades his power higher than um, our past head scout. Same with the uh, eye. Eye is graded lower, but the potential is the same. Defense is the same. 
He has a power potential of a prototypical home run slugger. Very patient at the plate. Drop plenty of walks. I'm cool with that. Especially playing in cores. Half your game, Sarah, that would be a huge help. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We'll take a look into some of those other guys as we get closer, like I said. But, uh, let's look at the schedule. So, for this video, we're going to finish off the rest of the month. Got a lot to do. Two road series. Got the D-backs. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, out the series to see what happens. Alright. We get to take the first game. Can't complain about that. 9-6. Had the lead early. Gave up some runs in the later innings, but we hold on. Kemp, a home run. Nice to see him being productive. Blackman as well, even though he's injured, still helping us out. See there, Hampson, great game, 4-5, 2 RBI, 3 runs scored. Trevor Story, 2 for 5. 2 stolen bases apiece, Story and Hampson. Sensatella, mm. Five runs over six innings, that's definitely not great, but I'm going to take it. Like what you see off the bullpen, though. Holberg and Diaz, shut down. Mike Leak, I mean, I'm a Cardinal fan. I've seen enough of him. Almonte, oof. Probably the solo, Sterling Marte with the stolen base. Hopefully it becomes Diamond soon. That would head help my eye over the show life. Kemp with two hits, like to see that David Dahl hit as well. Trying to push that average up to three. Kemp, just be decent. That's all I ask, just be decent. Not bad though, not bad. Daniel Murphy, I was talking about first base, he goes one for five. Can't complain about that. All right, so we won the second game as well. Took two out of three overall. Scoring-wise, more of a pitcher's game. Kyle Freeland, wow. My fantasy team destroyer last year. Dude comes in, pitches well enough for us to get a win. Look at that doll. Talk trash about him, he does well. Three hits, two RBI. Arenado with three hits, Story with two, and two walks. Camp again, two for three, I'd like to see that. Trevor Story, man, two stolen bases for Story. Definitely like to see that. And look at that, seven innings, eight hits, a lot of hits. But he did spread them across seven innings, I can live with that. Robbie Ray, ten strikeouts. But high pitch count after five, he has to come out. And again, Oberg, Diaz, a little down to four at the end of the bullpen. Can't complain about that. And then we lose the finale to Bumgarner. Lose two up, yep. There's why you lose. Three to one. Calhoun, two run home run. Calhoun, RPI single. Arenado. Solo shot, that's it. Bumgarner pitch well, can't say I'm surprised by that. Hampson two hits. Uh, Camp with two, so I'd like to see that as well. Starting to heat up a little bit. Hampson another stolen base Hoffman. Mm -hmm. I mean, he hits over seven, it's not terrible. We just couldn't get him to any support. Can't say I'm surprised Bumgarner is still still has that ability in him, so we did what we could. It's 
so we're looking at the standings. We're in fourth. Honestly, it's not that bad. We're still hovering around 500. That's the goal for this year anyway. Just two and a half bonded daughters. Um, up next, we got series at Petco. Again, I feel like we're uh, seeing the Padres an awful lot. It's our third series against them so far. Let's see if we can get them out the way. But this intrigues me, Pedro Baez. Fitting as a Cardinal fan, I'll look at them, but we could use some bullpen help. Um, he's assigned through the year, so. It couldn't hurt. Could it? Solid fastball slider. He is a fly ball pitcher, though, so that tends to make me worry. A fly ball power pitcher, in course. But our bullpen is, you know, coming in the worst CRA so far. Starters, too. And it's only for the year. You know what? We'll do it. We'll go ahead and climb them. See if we get them. If we do, cool. If we don't, that's cool too. We'll do what we have. Just adds the pin. Something that'll make them a little bit better. Nothing crazy in terms of moves. Cause it's just the one and done. If we like them, we'll keep them. If not, we'll let them go. No big deal. But yeah. Chuck. Day to day, we're gonna play him. Uh, issues in Reds land with Votto calling that. Calhoun will be not Mr. D back. Season ending, injury or broken kneecap. Kevin Newman, I imagine the Pirate winning an award 11 of 16. And in the latest weekly power rankings are down 18. Part of it out there somewhere around the middle all season. It just is what it is. At least day to day for that, so we're fine. I'm not gonna place them on the deal. Or I'll I'm just gonna run with it. Speaking of running. Uh, let's finish today. What do you know? An injury. Ah, that's our closer. Great. Now, I don't want to put him on the injured list, but because our bullpen is so bad, I don't want to have to rely on everybody else. So this, uh, we're going to have to put him on there for now. I don't want to, but I don't have a choice. And we lost the game, so I wonder if he got hurt in the game. Or if it was before. Yeah, we'll see soon enough. But who to bring up the last question? So we have the free spot now. Hmm. Now I have anyone good. That's part of the problem too. Hmm. Santos. I mean, for a little bit. Ben Meyer, oh God, no. Yeah, he's not got a, he's a pretty decent guy. He's bad. I think will be the wrong line of that ERA. He will fit right in. I'm inclined to do him just because I can put him in the pen. I don't have to put him in to start. Just put him in the pen. Make him like longer so he doesn't have to pitch that much. Tennis doesn't look bad either. Leaning towards Santos to I think that's all we'll do. 
go ahead and put them on the secondary. There he is there. And uh, let's go ahead and promote him. Welcome to the big leagues, my friend. Good luck. You're going to need it. So he looks as a starter. He's not going to be in the rotation, of course. We're going to keep our rotation the same. But uh, we're going to go ahead and drop him in the pen. And drag him over. Wait a minute. He's already there. Not to worry about it. Um, Metal Relief. We'll make Davis the closer. He's been pretty solid for us. I mean, Albert probably could be. Don't trust him. Alright, so. What do you know? A blue save. Convenient. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, I went out and yeah, I heard. And then you bring in a guy to get two outs. As soon as you let us down. We are not a one for four. Murphy two for four. Kemp three. Kemp's on a roll right now. It's three multi eight games so far in this episode. Man, pitch great. Doesn't matter. Doesn't get the one. We uh, set that for the whole first smart now for the year. Good thing I got that real smooth guy. Just want to send my day. I don't go too far ahead. I want to see if we can get if we get paid there because I don't want to miss it. Claim finish executed successfully. You your claim has been approved. The player is now a member of your organization. He has been designated for assignment. Well, we know where he's going. But Santos is about to get dropped. Sorry. And uh Pedro's gonna Get thrown in here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Let me a setup, I think. Still keep Davis as a closer, have over to be a setup too. Yeah, I think I'll still put Oberg as a setup. Look at those ERAs. ERAs are rough. At least 21 over 9, but you just had one bad, one rush in it. Hmm. Alright, well, that's fixed. Might as well go ahead and finish the rest of this series against these guys. And uh, we lose four to six. Wait, hold on. No, that is the. Man, I'm pitching his ass. <laughs> Tons of hits in this game. This game is trying to hit 17 hits for one, 15 for the other. If you're a pitcher, rip. We was 12 to 9. Again. This time we, uh, I'm sorry, we won. What am I talking about? We won. Late inning heroics in the ninth. And they bring in the eights a little early. We get them off of Drew. Um, Obert. 
clean any. I'll take it. Middle of the line of bid well for us, and then we lose four six. So we take one out of out of three here. Sensatella. Okay, eh, that's rough. Six hits and four walks and two and two thirds. Five runs lucky it wasn't worse. Hey, look at that Pedro's first out against a Rocky. One out, Davis. Uh, two outs, two, two, I'm sorry, two thirds. Pazos, not bad. Lemay, man, pitched great against us again. Two of his ones are against us. Up next, hmm. team looks familiar. Adam Wainwright. This has injury time left is a couple days, but still got 13 days. Hopefully when he comes back he won't suck. Let's look and see what we have there. No, we're good. No eight and ten. The 18, it's not bad. About an eighth of the way through the season. Not Cardinals are even 11. 8 and 10, we're four and a half back. Two and a half in a wild card, just trying to stay close. Help ourselves out. Pulling up the leaderboards. See Newman. Oops. Newman leading the lead in batting average in Minnesota. Crazy. De Young there. Our home runs in RBI, so I'll let you know he's doing Look at that. We got a Hampson there with stolen bases, second. We know that we have nothing pitching because, well, it's obvious. <laughs> it seems awful with pitching. Michael snaps at you want to come here. But the big thing, the fun series. Rockies, Cardinals. Three game series at home. Bueno, Flaherty, and Carlos. Shall we? Look, I'm not going to be disappointed if I lose the Cardinals. So we're off to a good start. 13 to 7. Wait, right, I'm sorry. That 17 is by us, 19, or by them, and 19 by us. Holy really crap. Course Jr. Well. Goldie. 2 for 4. When I got lit up, so did Kyle. The answer, the difference in game rate was the bullpen. Both starters gave up 5. And bullpen only gave up two. Haven't pitched the whole damn game. Man, that's crazy. Yachty with a home run. That's trolling. Trevor Story with a home run. Bases loaded walk. Also another fun way to get an RBI. Hmm. That story finished fifth in the National League in doubles with 38 last year. Happened to the tab. Like it. Kemp. Again, hits one for five. Walters, three for five. I think me clicking on the, the Sanchez, just looking at his ratings, must have had a, a really positive effect here. I'll take it. I will take it. So Kyle was feeling good about him and he gets shelled. But we win. Then we get shelled. Flaherty. Four runs over five minutes isn't like super, super great. Their bullpen shut us down. Uh, our pitch of denial bus. Look at their top of the. My goodness. Edmund, three hits, two walks. Wong, three hits. Goldie, three hits. Matt Weeders, sub and Ed for Yachty. Three hits. 12 hits between those four guys. Crazy. Especially when three of them are at the top of the order. And that's where your damage is. K 
camp though for us. Another hit double. Doll two. Arenado. And an RBI same with Garrett. I'll take what I can get. Also, it's not that bad. Take two out of three, so I can't complain. They score at least to take the lead. It's tied at eight, they scored. Ah, they blow the save with my thank you. Miller, go figure. Way Davis comes in, Pedro Baez, ah, give up on him. That was the young. Yep. First runs allowed as a rocket about to say cup. Some more doubles. Blackman, Arenado. Home runs by Kemp, Story. Arenado and Dan Murphy take it. No stolen bases is a rare one for us. But um Miller, sorry dude. Brebia was the one that really let you guys down there. So, take it. See there we're sitting at third in the division. Looking back at the screen here, some minor leaders down there. A little bit more so. Nine days. But looking for a lead. Yep, there you go. Stolen base leader. But there, we're in third. We're just a half game on Padres. It's not bad. I know he's definitely competitive, central, not top two competitive. I oh, should be fun to Giants. I don't know his half was here. Stick a fourth in their season. Oof. Hmm. San Francisco and Milwaukee. Well, it started out good. We won the first game. We sweep the we sweep San Fran. This is good. Gray. Very good game. Arenado and Story. Both home runs. Multiple hits for both of them. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. Second game, we went 9 to 6. We were down 6 5. Come back to win it at ninth. Blown save by them. Take it. You can see Arenado with a two run single. Diaz. A lot going on there. But Hamilton, uh, Control he gave them the lead and they survived. He gave them the lead, then stole second, of course. But we survived. In the end of the day, that's all that matters. We survive and we uh, fight back at the dub. Story gets the stolen base. Thank you, bullpen. Mongolia hits doubles and doubles machine. Don't mind a doubles machine. Just don't leave the guys on base. You can't leave two guys left on base. Alright, and then last one we went 3 1. Hmm. Kinda scored three runs early. Kyle Freeland, look at that. Seven innings, four hits, one run. That's what you need. Basically, I see. 
we'll pin the Davis a little shaky there, but gets the job done. Helper gets the last out. And then we have Milwaukee. We get swept. So you do good and then you give it right back. And we're up 5 4 going into the ring again. Not that I started, which is great. But we had to wait. Couldn't hold on to it. So I see Kane hit a single, that's only one run. Right. Where did the other one come from? Hmm. I'm not sure the other one came from. Let's look at the game. Good night. To the ninth. Okay, so we have Cole gets walked. Solar hits a single. Pitching change. Bring it over. Nevaez comes up, grounds out, runners advance, field of choice. Braun grounds out as well. There we go. RBI ground out. And then Kane with a single. Okay, got it. That nah, makes sense. Oh, we can't blow those though. I might have to keep a tab of how many times we blow it. Oh, what well, do you know? The very next game we blow a save again. Davis. Damn it. I think Milwaukee has his number. Give up three runs in the night. I'm wasting some good offense there. Hampson, Blackman, Green Arenado, three run home run early on. Logan Morrison, three run home run early on. Pain. Pain. Oops, now we drop to a game under 500. But this loss was 5 4. What do you know? Bullpen kind of let me down, but uh, so is there not a word triple? I don't see that too often. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Ooh, Sean do little signs. 12 mil. What else do we have here? Snow. I'm going to talk about Snow. That's the MLB show in Sidesville. No snow's out for the season. What the heck? Oof. Power rankings are dropping 20. We did good and then we gave it all back. So we get swept by the Brooker. Don't want that. Sorry, Cardinals couldn't help you. So we're back a game under 500. Sierra Nato. OPS. Stolen bases still there. RBI and home runs are not up there. Good look for good trade bait. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. And you understand you got the Yankees, the Red Sox are at 2,500 ball. That's actually quite surprising. Minnesota up there. Houston winning. Angels right behind. Three, four teams in the West. Or sorry, NL East for one record. But uh, you can see we have our closer back now. So as it does go to the Middle East, I don't want to see him. Diaz, hello, welcome back. Probably gonna put him for assignment, but let's put him up there. 
Uh, might be a mistake. We'll see. But uh, you can see there, we took both games against the White Sox. So we're going to end April with a winning record. A game and a half back, I just finished the day out altogether. So we can officially be done with April. Holy crap. I'm not going to complain. Ooh, we have a scouting report. Get back to that. Eloy Jimenez. I like this guy so much. I work with him and I'm hoping to show him. I love to add him. I wonder just, I'm not going to do it, but I'm curious what it would take. You have no player who makes this deal. Like, come on. Never mind. <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than that. Bo Bichette. Nice. A suspension. Cole Cowan. Dude, who's working against me? Face Gonzalez and Yoletta. Okay. First channel in Dominican Republic. Now I'll have to look at that one a little separate. The hit streak by the young halted. That's unfortunate. Monsi. That's what we have here. Lemay for pitching. Gavin Lux, of course, rookie. Exolac for the Rangers. Muncy's bat. Eloy Menez. The Phillies will be up next. We have Wheeler, Velasquez, and Nick Clavetta. But, I want to see his player development. So let's take a look at this. I have compiled the scouting reports published since Wednesday, April 1st, include a list of notable player development changes. You can check the, the report for a complete list. Here's a list of notable. So Sensitella. It potential goes up to three stars. Control. Pen moving go up. Ryan McMahon drops from three to two and a half. Hmm. Charter story drops to forty three point five as a short stop. Gotta stop striking out so much. I'm kinda looking through some other ones. Uh, we have Alexander Gian. A pitcher, relief pitcher, his go up a little bit, nothing else too fancy. Short stop going up to two stars. Look at the whole report. Hmm. Isaac Collins at single A, 25 to 30. <laughs> From trash to less trash. There's that shortstop there. Go to 35. For current, his potential is up to 40. Remember, the max is 80. Max George goes up to or drops to one star. Kate Harris goes up to two. Don Nunez, catcher up to 2.5. See a lot of reds and oranges, not a lot of blues and greens. Could think about the color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. The more green and blues you see, the better. Well, shall we look at the box scores? Close at 3 2 and 10 9. We close games. I almost blew that one. Gave up too late. Davis again. Hmm. Almonte. I know he was injured. Day to day, throw him out there. He's up at 3 run home run. 
Put a figure. Eloy Jimenez, two doubles. Not messing around. Let's look at the hits. Blackman, Arenado, Story. Dahl, Kim. All multiple hits. That's what you want. Hopefully they come around the same time. They can't home run. Murphy. Story. Yeah. Blackman as well. Good work. Bullpen tried to give it away, but we hang in there. And then the second one's 3 2, so I'm sending the pitchers match up. Pitchers duel, 3 2. A double play late. He <laughs> always hits a home run. I'm telling you, Scott likes me. David Dahl hit a home run, too. Alright, Wade Davis. A walk and a hit. But he did get the out. And he went to Albert. And Albert shut him down. Shut the guys down. I mean, it's not a bad start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dahl has a two run, three run. So he pitches eight innings, gives up four hits. And he had a solo shot. <laughs> Never forget this game. That said, we're a game and a half on Dodgers. If the playoffs started today, we're close. We're a game now. The wild card, you can see there, Arenado, second in home runs. They're not the eye. Hampson's still up there for stolen bases. OPS is second. E. Arenado. Ooh, I like that. Bat batter war. Second. Pitching, definitely not up there for the trash. Hit streak, three on that. Oh, that's one one as well. I'm looking to the expanding. I just want to see something on with us. Run differential. Yeah. So expected. We should be 13 and 16. So we're plus two. We're reaping the benefits of being better than we're supposed to be, record wise. I'll take it though. Um, ah, sometimes I hate that thing because it makes me feel bad. What you really should be and what you are don't always be don't always equal out to the same thing. But I don't like seeing that we're supposed to be bad. Um, good in one run games, five and three. We're awful at home. Get on the road. Okay, extras. Um, obviously, the all-star break is our record. Three and four against lefties. Not surprised we have lefty every lineup. Twelve and ten against righties. Six of our last ten. Let's look at our team. Let's look at some stuff here. So there's the lineup. If only we could pitch. Those aren't bad numbers. I mean, obviously playing at course helps. It's going to inflate. It's not bad. It's not bad. We have... I love... I really love that graph. I think that's so cool. Rotation. John Gray. Our best pitcher hasn't won a game yet. Kind of bothersome. Because he's pitched well in a couple, just can't find a way to get a win. Closer, hasn't given up a run, earn run yet. Everybody else? Yeah, Ray Davis is starting to make me nervous. He's starting to load back to the recent, not old school. Definitely starting to be a concern. And again, looking at who we face. Let's see there. But look at this, look at our team stats. This is how awful we are. Yeah, my lead. Hey. Hey, what do you know? Class A team stats. That's good. That team stats. So hitting. 
fourth most runs. Top batting average. That's a surprise. That's a real surprise there. That's what Matt Kemp in the lineup. But he's starting to get hot. But the problem is, he suck at pretty much everything that involves throwing the ball. Runs against dead last. Fifth, 14th. Bullpen, 14th. Starter already, 13th. Uh, we don't commit errors, that's good. But everything we can do that involves pitching is off. Hitting, we're good. Who do you know? The Rockies in a nutshell. I like looking at this lineup though, story batting over 300. The top four guys batting over 300 doll is as well. Kemp was batting like 180 when this started. He's up to 259. And Walters, still pretty good. I cannot complain. That's something else. Oh wait, that's the same thing I had earlier. Let's switch that. Um, Outside. Hmm. Arenado, 19 for his last 45. He's really eating up Chuck Nasty as well. He's not. You, if you can't win a game. Or you can't get us in position to win a game. did it once. Pitching is pitching. My league system, anybody? No, that's not what I wanted. Prospects. Our best prospect counter in double A in 373. I'll take that. Okay, our first baseman single A. 297, 229 area for the pitcher. So, top guys doing some stuff there. The chemistry, everyone's happy. Should be for one. Pitchers, for the most part, shouldn't feel too bad because the team's scoring a run. So, when they pitch like crap. Still bounces out. That's alright. Well, not why I'm really happy that we are gonna end this with a winning record if we don't get to do it for the rest of the we don't get to do it for the rest of the season. I'm just gonna say we did it for a month. May though, should be interesting. So the Phillies the Tigers in our league. We have the Reds at home for four. Giants for four. Hopefully we can... Oh, we got the Giants twice. Hopefully we can do some damage against them and the Marlins for that matter. Ten somewhat winnable games. The White Sox for two again. The Phillies again is that time at home. And then we put up the Dodgers. Oh, good things come to an end. <laughs> I'm going to start using this though, seven day lineups, so I can set stuff out, and if I'll, I'll change it based on injury, but just use it so I can uh, get certain guys some at bats in more favorable matchups. Nice little lefty thing you can do. That said, that's it. We'll get into May with the next episode. Thanks for checking it out. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel for future. See you next time.